What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Hold on, I gotta send some stuff out real quick. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's going on? This live, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna want to miss. Mm. Mm. Um, shoot. thank y'all for the subs. I need all that. What's going on? What's going on? It looked much better in here. You know what I'm saying? It looked much better in here. Uh, let's share this. Bang. Let me send this out. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna play this real quick before we come in. Um, I'm gonna say this to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Um, today's live very impactful. As you know, we our lives are always impactful when when we come together. Myself and Big Unk, Jay Fleming, but. Tonight's live is the undiagnosed hidden dangers in your house. The undiagnosed dangers in your house. I'm going to say it again. The undiagnosed dangers in your house. Faces and beyond. Hey, look, this live is going to be great. We're going to do what we got to do. Um, it's crazy. Because I reached back out to Big Unk and we just talked. We just talked about some stuff. Um, uh, let me go ahead and hit him, let him know. Like, let him, I mean, we just talked about some stuff. And people go through things in life and they go around walking and not knowing what's going on with these changes that's going on in their life. So a lot of people are walking around undiagnosed with whatever and don't know what changes they have in their life. Crazy. Hold on. Let me hit him real quick. Let him know he can come in whenever he want. What it do? I sent you the link for the people, but you can come in whenever you want. I'm ready. You get them ready? Is they ready? Is they ready, baby? Yeah, yeah, they're ready, baby. Uh, the first link I sent you is for you. Uh, so I'm playing along with this. I'm loving it. I'm having fun with it. Um, it's fun to me. It's fun to me. So this is what we doing. Um, 
waiting for waiting for my guest to show, you know? Mm. So crops with green. Alright. So 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 before you get here, hey Teddy. Teddy Beauty. Hey. So before you get here, um Y'all know he's an advocate DMX fan. I mean, y'all know his story. Y'all know what's going on. Um, y'all go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and before he get here, and we can, you know, play play a little DMX just for him. All right, y'all know he just got over COVID. Uh, he 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 told y'all that he prayed to God about it, and this is what came out of it. This song, Lord, give me a sign. It's dedicated for Uncle Jay Fleming. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment thou shalt condemn. Lord, give me a sign, for this is the heritage of the service of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Amen. Uh, Lord, give me a sign, I really need to talk to you, Lord, since the last time we talked, the walk has been hard, now I know you have not me, but I feel like I'm alone, I'm a big boy now, but I'm still not gone, and I'm still going through. It. Pain in the hurt, yeah. soaking up trouble like rain in the dirt. Yeah. And I know only I can stop the pain with just a mention of my Savior's name. In the name of Jesus, devil, I rebuke you for what I go through. It's trying to make me do what I used to. But all that stops right here. As long as the Lord's in my life, I will have no fear. I will know no pain from the light to the dark. I will show no shame, spit it right from the heart. Cause it's right from the start. You held me down and it nothing they can tell me now. Lord, give me a sign. Let me know what's on your mind. Let me know what I'm gonna find. It's all the time. Show me how to teach the mind. Show me how to be sublime. Lord, give me a sign. Show me what I got to do. To bring me closer to you. Cause I'm gonna go through whatever you want me to. Just let me know what to do. Lord, give me a sign. Please show me something. I'm about to talk to him. Boy, he's fighting. I'm crying about life ain't nothing. But you either be the one that you trap or the one that you I'm trapped in your own mind. I'm waiting on the Lord, I'm hunting with the word that cuts like a sword. The spoken word is stronger than the strongest man. Carry the whole world, I'm strong, I stand. With the kind of tribulation, you never let us down, Jesus. I know you're here with us now, Jesus. I know you're still with us now. Keep it real with us now. When you feel, show me how. Please let me take your hand, guide me. I walk so and stay right beside me. Devil's trying to find me, hide me. Hold up, I take that back, protect me, and get me to step the fire. Give me a sign. That's how we doing it today. That's how we doing it. We asking the good Lord to give us a sign. Now, okay. now y'all know when he get in the room, it's going to get hot. Y'all know that. Y'all know when he get in the room, it's going to be hot. So, our title is The Undiagnosed Hitting Triggers in Your House. Your house meaning yeah. anywhere you step foot at. Not just your physical home, but wherever you go. So, Uncle Jay, there you go. Let's knock it out. Peace and blessings be unto you, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so I, I'm not, you know, I'm new to the I had a big truth to this. So, so why, why can't I see, see um, like the Catholic bodies online? Huh? Yeah, like, yeah, like last time I could see the people uh, um, texting in and stuff like that. Well, you'll be able to see them in a few minutes because I can put it all on the screen. Like, okay. right there. Can you see it? I don't, I don't have anything on my end. Okay, this is a whole new program, but if you look at the top, at the top, uh, you see Chris Tari say, Willie, salute. Uh, Ms. Lady T say, hey, Willie Jones. They saying, hey, faces. Everybody's just 
big up in each other right now. Um, Do you need me to go out come back in? No. Nah. No, nah, you good. I can't see anything. You can't see nothing? I, mean, I, I see you, and I, and I see my face in a small box. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, you muted yourself. Okay. Hey, no, Taylor. All right. Ooh, your audio is terrible. Wherever you at? Hey, Teddy Beauty. Ooh, where wherever he at his audio. Everybody, let's welcome Teddy Beauty to the chat. What's going on, TB? Teddy Beauty. Hey, Belinda Prince. Mama, Mama Belinda, how you doing? I don't know what's going on with Uncle J. John. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But as we wait for him and we're going to get it going, um, if y'all got y'all questions, let's go ahead and send the questions over. Or drop the questions in the chat. What's going on? Can you hear me, Kurt? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, let's go. It's just wherever your internet is at, it's not allowing your stuff to sync up. Okay. All right, that's better now. That's better now. You can, you got better. Better. Can you see the top of the screen of what's going on? No. Hold on, hold on. Let me see something. Let me look at it right now. Hold on. But, hey, one monkey don't stop. No shit. Let's see. All right. Okay. Okay. I see why. Because you come in di directly in. Okay. But everybody... What do you need me to do? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. You're good. You're good. I just like to try to see the feedback so I can work off That's all. You good? I just go ahead and tell you everything that's going on. Okay. All right. So, so as far as the triggers in your house, the undiagnosed triggers in your house, right? Well, not necessarily triggers. So, the undiagnosed is basically, you know, you know, a lot of if you hear me talk, I talk about my personal issues. And touched on a little bit of last time, so we're gonna carry over to that. So undiagnosed is I'm you know, sorry, just, not triggers, but dangers. I'm sorry, my fault. That's my fault. Yeah. Well, the well, the dangers become because it's undiagnosed and the things that happen when you don't get the treatment. Okay. That is, you know, that you need, and um, solely like you know, with your uncle that became an animal behind being treated. So I started creating images. So um, there's a lot of households and there's a lot of us that are in denial about certain things that we need and deserve. But title is always a problem for us. Like a lot of people think that when they say, well, you know, you need to see a psychiatrist, right? And I don't want to see a psychiatrist. I'm not crazy, you know? Right. And that's not what it is. I mean, everybody has a form of anxiety, a form of depression, you know, bipolar, post-traumatic stress disorder. We all suffer from these issues. The thing is, the magnitude that we suffer from to the point that you need to seek some type of help, but you're in denial or you just don't think that you need it. And there's a lot of people that's all alive right now that know Here's a young man or a young lady that's always angry. You know, you can never make any sense to them. Or you just think like, God damn, man, I don't even want to be around this person. Right. 
and you're saying, oh, well, it's just a bad person. That's not always the issue. I don't think anyone's better to be perfectly honest with you. We all suffer from issues that we don't know how to deal with. So, you know, yeah. Those, those situations, those entities become to me as a hidden danger. Definitely when you don't have people to identify them at an early age so you can be seek out and, you know, receive the um, proper medical um, treatment. So let me ask you this. Um, let's take a person without saying their name. Um, I'm going uh -huh. to give you a scenario. Uh, person grew up troubled child. Um, uh, wanting to fit into something suppo uh -huh. and supposed to be GD and supposed to be Mason uh -huh. but uh, uh -huh. but uh, he, he he goes to jail for breaking and entering for uh, uh -huh. theft uh, mail fraud and killing a baby with a Actually, he ran over baby in a in a public and with a public uh, state vehicle, but it, but it didn't give manslaughter or nothing like that uh, because I think the city didn't want to get sued, so they just gave him some trump charges, and he did two and a half mm -hmm. years on that. But he celebrates the fact that he's not in jail. And he'd been out of jail for 25 years. But it's the celebration of killing a baby. So I would definitely say there's some dangers there with this young fella. That's 50 years old. You got, you got a lot of situations going on with that. You know. A lot of people, such as that young man, who have even heat loss. Not, Not that he's always to a point where he can't come back. Because, again, we talked about images last time, and that's why I asked for people not to call me animal anymore. Right. Right? So my name is what? It's Jeff. This is the individual that I'm trying to find. So a lot of us are afraid to live in our own lives. This is why we do things such as no disrespect to the women. They spruce themselves up with the big eyelashes, you know what I'm saying, the wigs and stuff like that. What's wrong with men us? What's up, Bishop? Yeah. Bishop Brian Snipes in the building. But, um, and we definitely get, get what you're saying. Huh? Go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish leveling it out. Yeah, yeah so, so, I mean, if you, you're talking about the city, the, the, game, the game situation to me has always been a sensitive issue that I feel that cities across America, states across America have created this a long, long time ago. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Pay attention to how this gentrification is working. You know, pushing us out and bringing them in, right? right. But what they did to us is they shut down a whole lot of the outlets for these kids to go to. So when you shut down the multi purpose center, you shut down the townhouse center, you shut down the little uh, rec center for these kids, who do you think they're going to open arms to them? The other streets. Absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? For me, a person who I told you I never had a father. So who was my father? The streets. The streets, the streets gave me the hug. The streets gave me the understanding. The streets made me see the things that I thought I supposedly seen. So this is what we have out here. And those are the hidden dangers. That's what you see that going mayhem to city to city, state to state. Right. Undiagnosed individuals. The killings. It's insanity. I would really say I'm going to be honest with you. I think with all the killings and stuff going on, or alleged killings, I think a lot of this is false flagging just so they can try to control a gun control situation. Well, listen, the, the, the government the government has always been the greatest crook. We can play with that all day long. <laughs> you can with it to a level where they'll shut you down right now. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But the realities of, for instance, drugs. You don't make the drugs. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You want to lock up drug dealers, but not the people who make drugs. You got to come overseas. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, that's, that's a whole other program to enter, but we want to stick to what we want to deal with and the top of the hidden pages. But, um, you want me to elaborate on that young man? Because it really is not much to that for him. Because he's not going to. 
progress unless he seeks some type of professional help. And even then, that's a long process. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. celebrating a death of a child, man. It's, um, and, yeah, you got some psychological issues. Yeah, and it's weird because his kids are on social media talking about him, making songs about him. And his kids are talented. And I'm not understanding how you can be comfortable with going to a R. Kelly rally, with going to anything dealing with R. Kelly, but you're not comfortable with seeing your kids. I never understood that. I mean, <laughs> fatherhood and daddies, there's no blueprint. So the, the chain has been broken in the hundreds of years. So this is all the time that is not to say that when you reach up an age, like for me, you know, I have not been to my children's life, of course, due to being in a penal system for a long time, but right now, I'm the ultimate dad. I'm the ultimate father. To me, those are two different situations, a father and a daddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? A daddy, you know what I mean? He just mean in a bit to be the creator. A father, he's that individual that he does, he do, he gets the love, you know what I'm saying? The cards and all the other things that comes with it. The only truth, you know what I'm saying? So, when you hear, can you watch your child? That's a daddy. You know what I'm saying? You only that because you create it. That's it. Right. And that's why these women out there now, they don't need it, man. They can do all this stuff by themselves. And see, and that's the crazy part because if you're a father, shouldn't no mama ask you, can, can you watch your child? Okay, are you leaving? Leave mine here. You see the difference? You said father. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, see the daddy, the daddy is just a sperm bone is what I'm trying to say. He lays down. But at the same time, so let's, let's be clear about what we're dealing with here. The ladies also have to be cautious about what they're dealing with. And when you see certain signs of these little short temper, I'm talking about hitting situations. Because a lot of the guys are very physically, mentally, and verbally abusive. And a lot of times they're coming from what? The things that he's already experienced. So what he's going to do, he's going to give you what he knows. So, so check it. So once you start seeing certain signs, that's not an individual you want to have a child with. As sad as it is, that baby may grow up with the same type of appetite that the father had, but a daddy rather. And seeing it's crazy because his his baby mama came up and said, you know, and for nineteen years she was verbally and mentally abused. <laughs> there we go. But that's it. But it's like they were comfortable, or, or should I say, the way that she put it and the way that his kids put it was like they were comfortable living off of welfare. They they they, right. they were comfortable off the system, and it's like they had to run away from him to go to a shelter. And that I mean that that bothers me. Like I can't well, have my kids in a shelter. The, the thing is this, when you start talking about situations like that, you have people that, if this is all they know, then that's what makes sense. Remember what I was talking to you guys last time about, I've done wrong for so long that I felt wrong with Christ. So I'm not exempt from the negative aspect of life, you know what I'm doing wrong, because that's what makes sense to me. But I've never been a physically, mentally, or verbally abusive individual towards women. But the bottom line is, I'm still in that category. Well, I still, I was in that category. Let me see. Um, him thinking, like I said, where I was at, that makes sense to him. Because no one's put him in a position to let him see that. That's not how it's supposed to be. You should be doing this. This is what matters. These are the avenues you should be taking. This is the pathway you need to be on. This is the book you need to read. So... See, success doesn't just lie with that like employment. The success of life, the success of relationship, the success of both. And you got to understand, there are avenues that you have to go through the suffering and pain that you must deal with in order to be successful. you got to be willing to see and accept what i got to do in order to get to that next level. Mentally, I want to be in a better place. 
I deal with anxiety issues. I deal with bipolar issues. I deal with the PTSD. You understand what I'm saying? On a daily basis. Before, I didn't understand what those mood changes were. I didn't understand why I was bad so angry, why I was crying uncontrollably, just out of the blue for no reason at all. So, question. What can we do to help this brother? Or what can anybody do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say it again. What can anybody do to help this brother? Well, first of all, you have to recognize that you yourself have an issue just like an addict. Right? So once he recognizes that, then the help can be administered, such as, you know, he knowing and then me telling them, like, this is what we said. Are you willing to receive? Because you can't make anybody do anything. You can't take a junkie and take him straight to the house or roof or whatever it may be in the different states or whatever. You know what I'm You can't make anybody do anything. They got to want. And when they want, then they comes the need. And then after the need, then comes the treatment. You understand me? So at that point, I don't know. He, it's a, it's a, he has a lot of underlying issues because you're celebrating the death of a child that you killed, Mike. That's, that's deep. Yeah, yeah, again, I'm going to repost, I'm going to repost, um, I'm going to repost the, uh, the video because I actually did an interview with the parents of the kid. Okay. It was kind of, it, it was touching. It, it was touching. As it should be. It was touching because the mom and them was really upset, and then the dad started, and the dad called from jail. Okay. And see, and the thing was, is the dude, or the, or the perpetrator, and was trying to make it seem like everybody was lying, because that's all he do is scam women. He's scamming live women. So basically, it was like, he kept saying, but that wasn't him, but that wasn't him. Then when the file came out, it was him. Then, then at first, then he went from it wasn't him to pe people making him out to be the bad thing. Then he turned around and said, "Oh, I will tell you what happened, and just send me five hundred dollars." Like he got, a, he got a lot of stuff going on. You know, that's not a person that's sound minded. That fundamentally sound. That's ready to receive anything. You know, so at this point, I'm not trying to say he's a lost cause because as long as you got breath in your body, you can make some type of change. It's just how I feel. Right. But honestly, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. My energy right now, I don't even want to hear to even constantly talk about the situation. Right. Do you really want um, people out there have any questions, any things to the talk about to this young man? And you breaking up because your or whatever area you in is killing your Wi Fi. Okay, all right. Let me try to make something. Did you hear anything that I said? You said something about questions, and then then after that, yeah. So does anybody based on what we talk about right now? Does anybody have any questions or concerns that we can elaborate on? Let's see. And build. And do anybody have any questions or concerns or? Or if y'all have any questions, e even if it's not pertaining to this topic, if y'all have any questions... Oh, I mean, hey, let's be clear. We all have a relative. We all suffer. So now I'm not trying to force nobody in, but I just want to know... You know hey, love you, sir. What, what we can do right now. Mm -hmm. love, love yourself, say, hey. Hello, hello. I'm waiting to see if any questions come in. But I know but I know as for as for us, man, as a as a colored people, we gotta progress together to the point where we gotta go back to helping one another and policing each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teddy Beauty said, how do you forgive people? How do you forgive? Yeah. How do you forgive people? Wow. That's tough. Um, 
Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I am. Uh, I'm learning myself. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be on here right now trying to create a, a false answer for you. And you know, you hear a lot of people say that first, before you can start forgiving people, you have to, you know, go into this up and forgive them. Which to me, I've always felt to be like, that's got to be extremely hard. i got to forgive them for doing harm to me or doing harm to an individual or, or whatever the situation may be. To me, that's got to be the hardest. But, but I also was dealing with my mental health and such as my anxiety and the bipolar and stuff that I had to learn how to let a lot of things go because it was consuming so much of my time and my life that it was making me sick. So, if, if I want to learn, I got to ask for that thing, but I got to learn how to. So, the thing is, like, you see what our topic is, so the hidden dangers, we have to find and figure out the tools. First, we got to recognize that an individual has a situation. And I hope that I'm trying to break this down as best as I can and yeah. that you're receiving what you need to. But, um... And Hub said, not being in the medical field or not being a licensed doctor or anything, I can only tell you from my person. I am personally dealing with learning how to forgive people and forget and move forward. Okay. And Hub said, we appreciate every time you come through. <laughs> <laughs> and Huff, <laughs> she said, we appreciate it. Okay, go okay, I appreciate you, love. EJ said, that's a question I always ask myself because it's tough mm -hmm. for me to do that. I mean, listen. <laughs> living day to day, it's rough. It's tough. It's hard. You know, somebody will wake up this morning. You understand what I'm saying? You, 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 you have blood in your body. You're able to bend over and tie your shoes. Walk into your car. So I was unable to do that. So it's just things that when they presented us, we had to attack them right then and there instead of allowing them to build and build and build. Because that creates so much anxiety. I'm trying to tell you people, please trust me. I come from a background where I had the love. I had all the nurses. I had all the great things that I had needed until molestation at the age of nine. Life has stopped. So, you know, I'm just saying, for me, right now, at 50 years old, I'm still learning and trying to learn who Jerry Fleming is. Wow. I'm trying to move forward. Wow. That's deep. That's deep because, you know, a lot of people don't understand what's really going on with them when they go through stuff like that. No. 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 It's confusing. Pardon me, guys. It's really warm up here. Um, it's confusing and frustrating because you want to be understood. You want to have somebody to give you some answers to what's happening because you know that this is not normal. And then you find yourself like me. I was looking around and like, that person, I wonder if he's going through it or if she's dealing with this or how they're coping with this. You know, so I dealt with so many of these things and I was like, you know what? The hell with this, man. I'm going to just go ahead and be done with it. And that's when the suicidal thoughts came in. And then I went from the suicidal thoughts to the actual action of trying to complete it. Wow. So, and I tell you, one of the saddest things, I want y'all to vision this. The gun that I use to rob and do all these horrible things with is the same gun that I try to blow my brains out with. It jammed. But with, after years later, from when I did that, I said, I'm outside right now. And actually, you guys, this is why my Wi Fi is up. Every day I come out to a park and I watch the birds fly. I so watch this, the tree sway back and forth. I watch a father or a mother walk the halls and playing with their kids. These are all the things 
I would have missed the ball with my family, my loved ones, my friends. Wow. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. Hoping that I'm helping someone. Hoping that I'm reaching someone. Hoping that I'm teaching someone. Giving some help, some guidance, some vision. Something to someone. I'm telling you. Pay attention. Recognize you got a child. That if behavior or her behavior has changed from what you used to, talk to them. Okay. But these fans that are on the Instagram and the Facebook, the time that you put them on the social media, give it to the baby. Because we are so stuck into these fans right now. I'm a truck driver. I drive past a car or a van. There's no communication to me. Uh, oh, your Wi Fi breaking up, huh? It's doing it again. Yeah. That's that monster trying to do it. And we're going to put some out there, people. He can't win. <laughs> so, okay, so, he can't win. Right. Right. Pashley Gangster said, Hey, Miss Attitude. Um, Pashley Gangster said, In order to forgive others, you have to start within. We said that. Right. Mm -hmm. We said that. So, so but, but, she, but, but, what she was saying was, it's hard. It's hard. hard. So, so how do you deal with that part? It's being hard. So, so that, present that to him. She can go with him with that. So, we probably got to go with it first. How do you get to that part? Right. And Huff said, forgiveness isn't for the other person. It's really for yourself. Yes. That's what I We still on the same page. Right. So, right. So, so how do you get to that part? And then she said, so you can free yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the hurt and bitterness. So how do right. you get to the part where you free yourself? Because as yeah. me being an actor, right? Mm -hmm. My whole goal is to go out and perfect the script that's given to me to make something that somebody made up in their mind believable just for other people to enjoy. And I'm going to be honest with you. The steps I go through as an actor to do that, it's like most people be like, nah, I ain't doing that. And because I have to do research, I have to do voice comparison, I have to do script reading, and I have to do character breakdown, and I have to do wardrobe. And I have to put my mindset in that time frame. And then from there, I got to put another layer of my mind in, in the battle of what's going on. So you're continuously reinventing yourself. Right. On the positive side. Right. So when you have somebody doing that negative aspect, right? That's the person that's constantly hiding behind the Right. Shout out to everybody over there on IG real quick. What's going on? Okay. You got any more questions? Yeah. Uh, EJ said, yeah, that is deep. My trust with folks are slim to none because of mm. me. Because of me not forgiving and never speaking to people again. I'm lost. This is no disrespect to him, but my energy, something happened. He has something that he wants to talk about, or maybe he don't want to talk about, but I do understand. And it makes sense to me because I'm that guy. You know, so that pain that you're dealing with, young brother, I'm telling you that you're going to have to, just like the pastor said, just like the young man said, I don't know, I'm still in training to learn how to forgive, but you got a lot of built up anxiety, man, and you got to learn, and if somebody's on here that into that uh, psychiatric field that they can help us learn coping skills or tools or later to send data, something that we all can use, and again, you can be a now or you we all suffer from some form of anxiety, some form of depression, some form of bipolar, some form of PTSD, because we all went through something 
because if you didn't, do you not live it. And life has its trials and its tribulations. Right. So it's impossible for you not to suffer or not to you to have endured or been through something negative. Right. Some people know how to deal with things better than others. Not to say that they're exempt from dealing with, you know, or going through uh, uh, situations in another way that's even worse. So. Teddy Beauty said, how can you open up to other people? That's a good one. After being what? hurt so much, how can you open up to them? <laughs> Man, listen to me. The smiles that you see right now, you could get. The face on the camera you wouldn't see unless it was on television. You know, so I open up to people because to me, this is my therapy. The feedback that you give me, that's how I heal. This is what works for me. I open up because that's what I need. Not the pills that they want to give. This, y'all help me. Wow. And Huff said, it just takes time. One day, yeah. those things that would normally bother, it won't anymore. Okay, and okay. I understand that, but here's my question. What happens when you got so much anger built up because people have did you wrong that all you want to do is destroy somebody? How do you let that take time when you don't want time to when you don't want that time your therapy is redirecting the pain that people have gave you that you want to give back to certain ones that gave it to you sometimes time ain't on your side i tell you and sounds like a person who's already endured something this right. is why she has the ad, but I want to see what she had to say about what she just said. Right. Uh, I, I, I'm going to wait for Anne to come back. EJ said, uh -huh. that's what I do when it comes to acting. Okay. Hey, Monica. Um, Anne Huff said, it just takes time. The hurt that bothers you will no longer have the same effect on you. Okay. Ah. Okay, so look. And this is no disrespect to Miss Ann. What works for others sometimes don't work for you. You understand what I'm saying? You have years and years and years, and that's where she coming in at with the time part. Yes, of course, time. I have to do two things. It's going to make or break. There's no in between. Right. So, so I understand where she's going to work that part. And, and that's, that's why she's saying about like, you have to be willing, you have to want, you have to really need and look forward to that. I want to feel, I want to be better, I want to feel better, I want to think better. That's for me where that part makes sense. I get that. But when you don't have the tools, you don't have the resources, you don't have the mindset, personality, the mentality, the demeanor, you understand? You're stuck. Yeah. Then what? That's the part I'm checking out. N Nikki M said, I get that. I hold grudges. However, after my stroke, I have learned to look at my part in a situation and work on me. They will either change, adapt, or get left behind. Ooh, that's Listen, let's deal with that. That's deep. What, what did I tell that? you? Three times, Three times I faced death. death. This passion was COVID. Right. Right? Right. Sometimes you have to be faced with some uncompromising situations to make you see and understand things that you normally couldn't see, things that normally would not make sense, things that you couldn't just put together the pieces of the puzzle. Okay. I do understand what she's saying, because it makes sense. Hold on for a second, huh? Hey, Willie, put the call in number in the chat, please. Willie, put the call in number in the chat if you can. Or 
if anybody had the call in number, put the call in number. Hey, niece. Hey, love yourself. If anybody had the call in number, can you put it in the chat? Thanks, Willie. There you go, Miss Ann. Oh, oh, I guess Miss Ann want to call in and talk to us. That's what I'm talking about. I'm here. That's I'm what I'm here. talking about. Here. That's what I'm talking about. But before she call in, because we wait. Yeah, before, before she call in, the young lady that we just talking about having a strength and all that. Listen, um, when you've been hurt so many times, when you've been played, you know, and people kind of mental and doing things to you, that's where you get destroyed. That's what makes it so hard for you to try to trust and you try to, you know what I mean, love hard. And nobody wants to or enjoy pain. Nobody. So the only thing we try to do with right now is coffee skip. How can we get past that? What can we do? That part. There's no disrespect to when the callers or the people that's mailing us, they got to start with them. Yes. What else can we do? Because at that, at that, at this point, for me, it's like a cliche. You need to say, well, you got to start with yourself. I know that. I got you. I mean, that's what people said, but it doesn't work for everybody. Um, Ann Huff said, you have to separate yourself from them until the healing can begin. You make not, you may not ever be in their presence again. But you have to separate yourself. We didn't get through this, sir. And Ms. Ann Huff said, you have to separate yourself from them until the healing can begin. You may, you may not ever be in their presence again, but you have to separate yourself. And here she go. Let's go. Hey, Ms. Ann. Hey, how's doing? Good. Great. Great. Oh, okay. Now, this is what I've learned, that it's definitely going to take time. Um, what I had to do is I had to separate myself from certain individuals because I was, the one, I was one of those ones that just, like, once you get to interact, <laughs> like, you know, no more. But then, when you hold that stuff in, it can literally, physically make you sick. Mm -hmm. So, you have to learn, well, I have to learn that, you know, is that person worth it? You know, and then to let it go. But I have to, Hi, be, to I have to be to the point where I can be around that person until there was some healing done in me. Because, like, a lot of times, it makes, you know, you always think that that is... This person did this, and that person did that. But then sometimes you have to stop and you have to see, okay, well, what part did I play in the situation that made that situation go the way it went? You know, it's not always the other person. But then there sometimes it is. You know, but I, I just have to remove myself from that whole situation. I have a question for the band. Okay. Everybody be different, you know. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so after she dealt with that the way she did, did she trust him or did she still have trust issues? Um, well, I definitely had trust issues. Um, but I think, but, um, but then I came to the realization that, that everybody's not the same. And what one person did doesn't necessarily mean that's what the next person's going to do. And so I just felt like that it was wrong of me to make the next person pay for what the last person did. That wasn't fair. Okay. But you don't mind me asking, Miss Anna, are you in a relationship right now? Um, no. But by choice. Okay. <laughs> Because I, I, I guess once you get out of one, I just feel like that there's work that needs to be done before you just enter into another 
Absolutely. So, I don't know if you were on the podcast that I was on the very first time, and that was the growth of man. And what I meant by growth of man was I was actually speaking of myself and my personal experiences of men being grown boys. So, because a person or individual that thinks that he's a man because his age does not define him as a man, it's nothing but a number for him. You have a whole lot of grown boys out here. So a lot of us don't know how to treat a woman. A whole lot of us won't actually ask another man who's actually a man how to do certain things. You know, if you ask a young man today about sure, and he thinks you're speaking a foreign language. You know, you hear people say to this day that it's dead. It's not dead. It's just not taught. So, you know, I, I, look, I, I'm sorry you going through what you're going through, but I'll say this to you, that you're doing the right thing before they become another relationship. Is you got to start getting you together because relationship after relationship after relationship is an engine. It's a wrap. Yeah. Why? Because two people will think that, that I'm being bitter because, because I've learned from the mistakes that I had in that one. So when I go on to the next one, mm-hmm. people think that I tend to tolerate in that one. I'm not going to tolerate it for that. You know, so that I'll like, tell you what. Stop worrying about what people think because it's self that matters. You got to get you right. So what other people think as far as this bitterness, most of the people that always have something to say, these are the ones who have the underlying issues. We got to be, listen, y'all take this and hear me when I say this. Stop giving people titles that don't deserve. My man, big brother, big homie. My, my homegirl, my, my best friend, friend my, my big brother. brother. Stop giving them these titles. They, they don't deserve them. Right. Unless they're doing and receiving the duties that require that. Yeah, I'm telling you, these people, listen, I'm telling you nothing no more than the pain that I've gone through. I have brothers that have not been uncles to my kids. Uh, does that make sense? Wow. Absolutely. You know, no one walked my kids to the park. No one took my kids to the zoo. No one taught my kids how to play. Not saying that this is not it's their job. I'm just saying in families, when you start talking about it, take a, a junk, what, what, what is it? Uh, a village. I did this last time. A village. <laughs> it's like a jungle. It's like a, you ain't animal no more. <laughs> yeah, so when we say that, that's why I'm so... Frustrated sometimes, it's like some people talk because they got lips. They talk because it sounds good, but do they really mean it? Exactly. I've been in relationships where a woman tells me she loves me and she get upset me because I say I'm lonely. And I wait to say I'm lonely. I'm not receiving what you're saying. I can't see how you're saying you make me feel. I'm not getting that. That's the I just come to. I just feel like action speaks louder than words. And I just feel like. It always has. I don't. I have not yet had that person that can match my lord. That can match. Not necessarily even match, but can do what I do for them. Not that I even expect that, but just automatic. Well, we live in a whole other time. They're going to have the match. I'm sorry. I need you to match with me. And I'll tell you something else. Consistency. He can't just give it to you. Just the proof, you know. Because we do this in relationships. If you get in a relationship, anybody can speak on this. We do everything we can because it's sweet. You get what I'm saying? So if it's not consistent, it's not real. Exactly. And we get caught in that that pretty face, tight in the waist, big hips. We, yeah, all that. Y'all see the handsome young man, beautiful tea, dress good, he smell good. Image. Be done with it. Consistency is what matters. That's what I need. 
That's what I got. That's what I deserve. I'm done with these goofy games. I'm done with being a grown boy. I'm a man now. It's time for me to live. I got to know who Jared Flynn is, and I'm looking forward to getting tools to help me deal with my personal mental issues, my anxiety, my depression, my bipolar, and my post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, my um, my dad used to say when he was alive, he's like, "What happened to people getting to know people? Like everybody want to go straight to dating. Uh -huh. What happened? What whatever happened to getting to know that person, spending time with that person? You may not even you like the person, you know. But everybody goes straight into dating, and I never really thought about that, you know, until after he passed away. I'm like, you know what? You might be right." <laughs> How long ago, I'm sorry to ask you, how long ago did your father pass? My dad passed in 94. Okay. And he passed in 94? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I quit being more blaming on social media because... Huh? But, but, but I, that's what I was going to blame on. But right now, that's the issue. <laughs> you know, but I do understand. I guess if that was just changing. The, oh, the doors, the, the revolving uh, way of life, like, we just got away from so many things that it's like trying to move back, or trying to reach back to gravity so far gone that it doesn't even make sense now. We have to reinvent the world again. Our kids don't know anything about hot scotch, double dutch, marbles, jacks. It's like this is a full language to them. Remember when we used to play Monopoly? I was cheating. Just <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> But, you know, it's just, and again, I love the, what you said your father said, and the reality is on it, what really happened? What happened is somebody's not helping. Somebody's not teaching. Somebody has what they need. They give us. They all got to start somewhere. But look what happened. We had the Martin Luther King, we had the Mega Apples, we had the Barker Facts. Somebody keep cutting the head off of the champs every time they get the title. Who gonna stand up? Who gonna reach out? Who gonna teach? Who gonna preach? We need it. We want it. We deserve it. And that's why when we don't, we seek our own. We back off. We shut down. We real shallow. You, you know talk to these kids, kids today, what, what you want to do? What kind of um, employment are you looking for? A job. I just want to get a job. And we all know right now, jobs are something for me. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to quit. A career is something I'm going to work on. Just like a relationship. Well, well thank you, Ms. Ann, for coming through. <laughs> oh, trust me, this is every week. I, I know we dragged that one out. <laughs> this is every week for us or every other week. That was my fault. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm hopping back to the chat. That's fair. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. EJ said, seven times out of ten, I do get frustrated over stuff I really wanted to do because I know okay. it'll get me far. But, no, and I foresee it before it happens. And I want to do it when I'm young and not when I'm almost in my 30s. Okay, EJ, so listen to me, young brother. The fact that you can already see it, the fact that you also know that you have what it takes to get there. Hey, Nisi. Stop telling yourself no. Stop putting other situations and entities in front of you that you can go around, or that you can go over, or that you can go through it. Make it happen, champ. Yeah, you got some underlying issues, like I said, such as us all. But I'm telling you, you can do it, man. Just get it done. Don't make no excuses. Make adjustments. Phoenix Rising said, most times your anger with current people is misdirected is misdirected the people remind you of your of the people remind you of past tra trespasses 
from your past. Mm -hmm. That's why it's intensified and emotional. Hmm. Uh So you're not really dealing with that that situation itself. You're You're using something something else. else. And and I get it. There's plenty of times, yeah, I'm about the house. I'm just on the foot to transpire in my house. And I want somebody out here to say something to. I wish they would. And it's not fair. It's not right. But once again, you're dealing with people. you got certain issues that you have to learn how to deal with. Right. Nikki M. You gotta get help. You need help. Right. Nikki M. said, for those situations, it is easy. You know what to expect from them going forward. Wow. Say it again. Nikki M. said, for those situations of trying to forgive people, and she said, it is easy. You know what to expect from them going forward. Well, if it's easy and it's going forward and not already with respect, I'm no longer forgiven. Yeah. That's just for me. Because, you know, when that person, the young lady, I'm not sure who it was, and I can only speak, again, I use different things such as my personal life, the schools and everything. And boxing, they tell you that anger clouds judgment. Right. So if anger, I'm frustrated, I can no longer box and do what I was training for, the frustration that I had now is going to have me doing things that I'm not capable of, you know, I wasn't wired for, I wasn't, I wasn't trained, and now I'm getting my head knocked off, so anger definitely clouds judgment. Right. Teddy Beauty said, how do you go for your dreams if you have kids? Oh my God. Oh, stop that, baby, what's wrong with you? That, 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 that's your drive right there. Them babies, your drive. You have to show them that just, 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 you had kids at an early age, or maybe if you didn't have them at an early age, you had them at a later age. If you already had it in your head that you think or want or deserve to get a degree, don't do it. If you have someone to help you with those children, Seek it. There's so many uh, 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 resources that you can get on the now to receive the help of your children so you can go ahead and grow your education. That's, that's, that's nothing holding you back. Don't make that an excuse. What I just said, a young man, make adjustments. Don't make an excuse. The babies are holding you back. The babies should be propelling you. To go seek that. My mother's 73 years old. And I'm not putting her out there, but I'm going to put her out there. Stop there to high school in the 11th grade to take care of all six of us. Three jobs. She went back to Morgan State and graduated when she was 62 years old. Mm. And Huff. The what and the need. And Huff came back and said. I learned that when a person shows me who they are, believe them. Sometimes you face them with chameleons. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, at that very beginning, in these relationships that you you know, that's the it. When you first start talking to a young lady or a young man, we know right then and there we're going to continue to with this person for weeks. We know right then and there we're going to have sex with That we're not going to play no games. We play right now. Right. We don't be know these things. But what we want to know, if this is the person for me, did you ask the necessary question? Meaning, as I tell my daughter, what is he looking for? What does he want? What does he need? You looking for a platonic relationship? You looking for a girlfriend? The possibility of a future wife? Tell me exactly what it is. You looking for some ass? Tell me what you're looking for. And as soon as that man says, uh, you got you got that answer. So if you continue to deal with an individual who couldn't fill in the blanks and came up with the uh uh-huh, there you go. That's going to be your fault. And, and that's vice versa. That's the man or the woman. 
Nikki M said, yes, un anger clouds judgment. Mm-hmm. And always did, and always will. Then she came back and said, I had to tell my husband to let me calm down before talking. Because, because woo-wee, my tongue cuts. Check, Check this out, out though. Who, who we dealing with? That's Nikki M that said that. Okay, okay sweetie. So, so if you already know that your tongue, tongue cut, right? right? And, and you, you have to tell, tell your husband, husband if you loving this man and he's your huggable, lovable, bugaboo, boo then you right. ain't even allow yourself to get the, you, you got, got that one. Once again, we talk about those tools. So, so you, you have, have that anger. anger. Listen, watch, watch this. this. If anger is stronger than that love, then that love is not really what you say it is. Mm. Say say it again. Did that make sense? Say no. If your anger is stronger than your hate, your frustrations, then you really not in love like you say you are. Oh man, you speaking a mouthful. You speak in a mouthful because I can speak on me. I've ended relationships because I got frustrated and angry at a father because he didn't know me, but he judged me. So I'm like, you know, fuck all y'all. I'm out. But this is what we talk about. People pay close attention to what I'm saying. We're talking about an illness. We don't want to really go it. That. We don't want to uh, title it, but it is what it is. We all have underlying issues that we don't want to accept. Call it what it is. You're suffering from anxiety. You're suffering from some form of depression. You're suffering from some form of bipolar, some form of PTSD. That is not allowing you to rationalize situations on a little aspect. And then you say, you know what, man, fuck this shit. Well, if he say something to break his fucking jaw, I wish he would. I wish he would. Okay, okay, she, just Nikki said, well, well, my husband, I'm, I'm pissed off. He better not say shit to me. He got to allow me to calm down. Why? What, what's putting you in that position that you can't calm yourself down? Why he got to let you calm him down? Or give you time to calm down? And that's a machine. And he loved you that much, man. He walked off. I'm not walking off. I'm saying right there. And I'm going to bombard you with all this love that I got. We're going to deal with this together. You're not dealing with it alone. That's your problem, sweetie. You're so used to dealing with it on your own. Now, that I can relate to. Suffering. Pain. I know. That makes sense to me. I'm tired of doing that. I want someone to hold me. I want somebody to make sense of my sadness, my madness, this insanity. Hey, uh, I don't want really nobody to walk off when, when I'm frustrated. frustrated. I don't really want nobody to walk off when I'm about to pass out. I want you to say, hey, come here, play, brother. Or, hey, come here, son. Or, hey, come here, baby. Hey, uh, hold on. It's going to be okay. But hey, uh, Nikki said, look, laugh out loud. And she said, it is not him. It is situations, gen gen it is situations generally someone outside the marriage like a relative. Give me that again. Nikki M. Hey, Nikki, call in, Nikki. Yeah, yeah please. Call in, Nikki, because I don't want it to be... Because the way she's sending it is, like, choppy. So call well, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can receive it in a different way, because I don't want to be that way on an issue that I'm not... Right. You know, I'm coming across too hard or wrong. Right. But by all means, just like I said in the last podcast, please, anybody that's listening... I do not mean no harm, form of fashion. I am not licensed. I am not a therapist. I'm just speaking from personal issues. I am brought to a point that I speak my mind. So if there's a question presented, I'm going to say what's on my head. And it means no harm in form of fashion to you. Right. And Huff said, I know we're human, and we will make mistakes until we die. It's the same mm -hmm. mistakes over and over that I have a problem with. So, so whoa. listen, this whoa. is and let's add, nobody likes repeating the cycle. 
And it's just what I would take this. If you are in the same place you were in last year, something's wrong. There's a problem somewhere. Every year should be some growth. Whether in your job, in your relationship, whether in your personal life, whatever it may be. So you're going to have to push through it. Call in, Nick. Stop allowing it. Stop accepting it. Yeah, and change it. Get every repetitive cycle. I can't get with that. Say again. I said that repetitive cycle. I can't get with that. Well, we all done it. That's why it's so normal to us, man. That's the whole point. I'm, I'm loving that we're on the podcast. This is my second time I enjoy it. I swear to you, this is the ultimate therapy for me. And I hope that I'm reaching somebody because I'm telling you the repetitiveness of and. Sanity, the repetitiveness of pain, of sadness. Some people move on their day to day life. I'm okay with it because it's normal. It makes sense to them. But oh, what are we going to do about the things that we know that are supposed to make sense to us? That part. Come on. That part. This. What we doing now? We, we feed off, off each other. Right. Somebody, like I told you last time, somebody going to leave away from here with something good. I think what a Nikki M was saying was, it's not her husband, but that she be getting mad at. It's, okay. It, it's situa- it is situations generally someone outside the marriage like a relative that pisses her off. Follow me. Listen to what I'm saying. That's okay. I never said that. What I'm saying is, whatever the outside entity was, you got to still allow him to take that. Put that on his shoulder. Allow that man to embrace you. Don't close him out because you got married. You got to ring on his. He got to ring on his finger. You got to ring on your finger. You didn't marry yourself. I did. He's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all. That's all I'm saying. It's just since you knew that you're getting yourself in certain positions that when things happen, you tell your husband, "Give some time. I can't deal with this right now." Stop doing that to him. Stop shutting him out. Miss Ann Huff said, "When things keep happening, your husband." Oh, yeah. Ms. Ann, Huff, Ms. Ann Huff said, when things keep happening over and over and over again, it's no longer a mistake, mm-hmm. but their choices now. Listen, let's move it down. I like that. Hey, Ms. Ann. <laughs> Who's wrong with this? They allow something to happen over and over and over. That's a problem. We're not going to, you know, and we only do it because we used to pain. We have to really stop allowing this pain, this suffering to be accepted. Once you start noticing the first couple of times, how painful was it then? I'm not, I don't think I want to go through it no more. I don't think I want to receive that anymore. I'm good. I'm okay. I got, I got my share. I see what you've done. It makes sense. I'm good. And if you have to move on, and then six, seven months later, you see somebody else, and then he looks like he got the same underlying issues, listen, just pause for a second. Get, get, get you together. Because some people are going to get it because they're not well. That's, again, what I'm trying to tell you. Every person that you meet got a story. Period. It's whether they want to tell the damn story. It's whether they want to turn the page in the book and really read to you what they're doing, what they're going on. Not that beginning page. That's all. That's all the peachy and cream. We, we deal with that. That's the bitch you in page. Nikki M said that is true. He just took time. 
Her husband just took time to understand that, huh? Yeah, good. That's, That's what we listen. Listen to me, people. The foundation is the relationship, which is a friendship. You have to have a friendship before you have the actual relationship to the woman or the man. If you're starting off on a sexual before you build a foundation, which is the friendship, you can't get mad at how this thing turns out because you didn't get to know each other. You got into bed. Wait a minute. Instead of learning the other head. Wait a minute. I'm listening. That. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm a victim of that. Right? We all are. And I've had them, the females say, oh, no, this is too good to be true. Dana, uh-uh, this, 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 and this. But what happens when you hop in bed first? And then y'all get to know each other. But then when one backs off, and then, then there's kids involved. The bottom line. There's no backing off then. You can't back off. The bottom line, you still never build a foundation. There's a lot of relationships out here right now that has kids. Because it was just in the big first and there no foundation. I'm telling you, man. And once again, if you go back to listen to the other podcast, the growth of that, a whole lot of what I said was in that. Mm -hmm. Love yourself. You sister. think being a man is having sex with a woman? No. Why would a woman have to feel uncomfortable telling a man or going to a girlfriend saying, Girl, I got to tell him I'm pregnant? What the hell you got to be nervous about telling He wasn't nervous about putting it in. And not pulling out. So why do you have to be nervous about telling them? It does not matter. Neither one of us did protective sex. But what I'm saying is, listen, we got to stop playing games with our life, whether it's sexual, mental, or physical. Oh. We take a lot of things for granted, is what I'm telling you. Nikki M said, 24 years this August, they have been married. But EJ, now we get into healing people. EJ said, I'm a product of that circumstance. See? So, so now we tell a lot. What circumstance? Of, of two people having sex and then not getting to know each other. Right. right. Okay. okay, so. <laughs> man, you can scratch so many circuits. Right. And, and I'm loving this podcast. Once again, as a man a man has to be a man. Okay, I'm not accepting this. I don't want no relationship unless I have a foundation. I need a foundation with a woman, not a girl. I'm not saying I'm introducing to my this my girl. You see, you see what we do? That's my girl. You got a girlfriend. I can have a girlfriend when you're in your thirties and forties and fifties. That's insane. Okay, check this out. The foundation. You have no foundation, you're going to have a separation. Trust me. Go ahead, I'm listening. Check it. EJ about to get mad at me about what I'm going to say. Hey, Fantasia, you no, listen to work. Hey, EJ going to get mad at me, but how do EJ allow himself how to trust to the point where he can get to build the foundation because he's been hurt, not by outside folks, but he's been hurt by family that he looked up to. Okay. So how do he you learn how to? How did he learn how to even bring his psyche to want to be around a woman that he can actually have a conversation with and without having flashbacks? Hello, man. A lot, a lot of this stuff is healing. Personal healing. The thing is that he got to deal with first, which is himself. Okay? Mm -hmm. He know really what's going on. We don't have to put everything out here on the air. He has to deal with his underlying issues first before he can move forward. 
that you already committed to. You did what say you already did what you did. We all have been in these positions. Women are not exempt. We had sex before we had a foundation. I'm sex with your friendship. Did you hear me? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. No, no you good. So, so understand that the foundation is the friendship. All I'm saying to you is, if you, whoever's on live right now, and you're not in a relationship, try to build that first. And if you see that that individual wants to have sex, wants to have sex, wants to have sex, and you just cross another build the foundation, that person's not for you. Period. But he's saying that he's already in that situation. So now you got to reinvent the wheel. You got to get creative. The damage is already done. Nikki M. It's not lost. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, nah. Go, go ahead and finish. No, 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 Nikki M said, I just want to say that I appreciate Dana having this platform and Unk sharing his knowledge slash experience. And she put hearts on the cross. Yes. Oh, oh man, that's awesome. Oh, appreciate you, baby. Um, love yourself said exactly. Hey, love yourself. I hear you, bitch. Oh, update. Everything been good. Okay. Uh, the oldest son came and got the youngest, and they've been hanging. <laughs> I want to know how. How do we get to this point? Growth of a man. <laughs> Woo! Man, 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 thank you. Thank you. I, That's awesome. I love success stories. Yeah. yeah. You see, that's why I said when she was saying he was suicide, I said, nah. See, you can't fake suicide. You can't act it out, Steven. You're dumb. Even if it is, who the heck? Look, EJ said, with all due respect, I'm not really mm -hmm. interested in relationships at the moment. No, that's fine. And you listen. It ain't got nothing to do with no disrespect. That's beautiful, EJ. Because at this point, with all the damage that's done, now you're for damage control. Get EJ together. Build EJ up. Put EJ in a better mindset. So when EJ's ready to, he won't be taking it all that garbage and that trash and that mental abuse and physical and whatever it is that he was dealing with into that relationship. He's going to come in a whole fresh new man, a whole brand new outfit, some brand new sneakers on his feet. You have no idea how many women are on this line right now that's so tired of hearing another man talk about in a relationship some shit he done already did and he's still trying to deal with. And she's upset with that. But God damn, how are you to have a future if you're still dealing with something in your fucking past? Facts. That's a problem. But once again, who are we dealing with? Automatic, bipolar, you understand, anxiety. I'm telling you. Somebody's not telling their story. The and you women and you men, we got to put pressure on these issues. The undiagnosed the women are going through stuff. Yeah. They've been abused, mentally, physically, and sexually. They may not want to talk to you right now. Love yourself, said. But yes. you got to figure out something and some way to get to the underlying issues if you want your relationship to be successful. Talk to me, Love yourself said yes. Thank you, um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you know, I mean, listen. I'm not no doctor, too, but I'm not, I'm a very knowledgeable individual, man. You understand me? And I have always been this person. I've been in a bad place and I've been a bad person. And right now, I want to do great things and good things. And if it has anything at any time that I can take my people or any person at this point, the Uber race, they have just our race. If I can help anybody mentally and physically get in a better position, oh man, I feel great. My therapy is bad. 
I'm, I'm receiving mine. Now Taylor said, now Taylor said, um, you're official, you're an official dream team member now. <laughs> Talk to me, baby. I'm, I'm, hey, hey, send me my uniform. Look, 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 look. Hey, you see what it is? You know what I mean, bro? You see what it is? Send me, you send me. Hey, bro. Up, 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 need a 2X. No, no, no. no. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Don't, Don't get it twisted. <laughs> it's big hunk, baby. <laughs> I like my stuff. Ladies like it, but I look like a therapist. <laughs> 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 oh, oversized therapist. <laughs> um, Taylor, 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 Egypt, whoa. Talk to me, deal with it. I like what you say, whoa. EJ said, I haven't had a solid re keyword, solid. Hey, loving the King RB. EJ said, I hey. haven't had a solid relationship since 2010. Ooh. It's okay, EJ. It's okay. And you know why? Because your honesty is what makes sense. As long as you true to yourself, see, I've been a liar. I've been a cheat. I've been deceitful. I've been a thousand things. Except what I'm bearing right now. Honest and truthful. So don't talk to years. Because years ain't going to mean a goddamn thing when happiness comes. When that love is the way it needs to be. Because all the other things that you've been dealing with in negative entities, they ain't going to be a goddamn thing. You, listen, it's just like a driver's license. You go on that goddamn DMV, you take the test, you fail three times, and then you get it on the fourth time. Is that driver's license going to say, I failed the three times? Hell no. It's going to say, balance. Now take that analogy, oh. young man. Oh. And move forward. Oh. EJ said she's deceased. My apologies. Oh. Okay, so listen, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're in here, my man. So when we start talking about relationships, you got to get past the healing part. I'm not saying you forget, because forget is allowing that person to continue to be deceased. But as long as you remember and you have a thought, they will live forever. But I can guarantee you they don't want you living in misery. They don't want you being sad. They don't want you being frustrated. Right now you're dealing with depression. And you got to come out of that. I'm not telling you to go ahead and start digging the day tomorrow. What I'm telling you is you got to start moving forward. <laughs> I ain't laughing at you. Uh, I'm laughing at. I'm laughing at. Was uh, come on. I don't want to. I don't want to read this. I don't want to read this. Read, read it to me. All right, wait. I'm gonna read the one before that first. The the king loving the king of R&B said, "If you want a healthy relationship, you have to value your. You, you have to value yourself." Um. How do you, how do, you do that? Um. Ru Ruthie said, single life drama, stay free. <laughs> um, well, I mean. But wait, but this one right here, check it. Big Unk, I need some advice. I know a person that had, that had a cyber relationship with someone. That person cut, that person cut the relationship off and the female struggles getting over him. She talks about mm -hmm. him every day. She docks him and everybody around him. It's it's been almost a year. Can you give me advice? And by the way, they never met. Only through Zoom. Yeah, maybe what I'm saying to you. And, and I, once again, this platform is what it is. The people what the title was we're talking about hidden dangers. We're talking about mental illness. People don't want to face it. And in our relationships, we're hiding, we're not telling, and we're deceitful. We're lying. There's something wrong that she needs to go to a cyber, the internet. And she's stuck like Chuck at this point because the reality of that is the person that she was talking to, she probably had the person that she was going to talk to. <laughs> it's 
Don't, don't do that, baby boy, because you know, there's people that really want and need this help. So I'm just trying to send this message that, you know, as a friend, you got to be there for her. you got to tell her she got to be, get, you know, stop, be in a stop, better stop, place. Stop, 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 stop. Come on. Stop. Say what it is. The person, right, the male that cut it off was me. Okay, so what? And uh, and the female just stalks anybody that come around me and stalks and docks me. Listen, and like I said, she has some underlying issues. I'm still saying what it is. I'm not, you know, it is what it is. She has personal issues that she must deal with. Next. <laughs> <laughs> You're fooling me with that, dude. It's Big Uncle, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's Big Uncle, baby. <laughs> Look, loving the King of R&B said, it's not only for your benefit. Be in a position to actually enjoy your life and being in a relationship, but also benefits around everyone. I meant, wow. but also benefits everyone around. I'm sorry. I like that. That's deep. I like that. Yeah. Phoenix. I mean, you know, it, 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 what's great about this is you hear everybody start throwing and he's storming right now. Mm -hmm. Because everybody that's on the internet has suffered a bit of some type of mental pain at some point in time. So all we're doing is we actually figure out the tools. Right. You're right. Some people already have the tools. We ain't got to figure them out. We just this is what they say. We take them and we move them forward. Right. Phoenix Rising said, if you ask your higher power for the person that's equally yoked with you, sit back, prepare, and wait. You have to pray an honest prayer. Phoenix Rising, wait. A man is the one that's supposed to find. A woman's supposed to wait. That's what the Bible say. Okay, now y'all, I mean, hold up. <laughs> when we start talking and getting into the biblical aspect of the man and the woman, and this is for me, the Bible has been written over a thousand years. Man has went inside and encrypted and done so many different things to that book. Mm -hmm. To put it in certain perspectives. So I, I'm not gonna. Up, oh, up. Oh, that's that demon trying not to let you talk. That's okay. He can go about the truth. I'm good. Because you said the Bible been written over a thousand years, and then you said, I think bang, 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 bang. I mean, so what I said was, man has, for his collective good, put himself in a certain position. I'm sorry, I never ever thought or think that everything in the Bible that has to do with man, is there's no power given to one man at all. That's hard for me to believe. And hard for me to say. But at the same time, we're talking about something totally different. We're getting into the biblical part of things. And we're going to have to. I don't want to lose topic, is what I'm saying. And we're going to have to break that down for Sunday when we get in a biblical time. We, we can come there to Sunday. We can come to Sunday. And you know what? And you know what I want to do? I would like to have us come together and then have a pastor come on here and talk. Okay. And we all just have. We'll make it happen. And, and we all just sit and talk. And because there's a lot of stuff in the Bible that I'm confused with. And because it okay. seems like it's contradictory. Well, of course. But at the same time, we need, we need, I'll say we need a pastor that not going to be biased. And what I mean about that is not speak on the things that he heard. Right. But understanding where we at. Right. And what makes sense to us and what not. Right. I want to present something to you real quick. Okay. For a future, um, like the listeners that's on here, when we take in some titles that we would like to talk about so we can deal with it, we take something off and just so we can keep building week after week after week. Right. We can put something up there. They can shoot something back and then we can go forward. 
Yeah, again, that's all you got to do is submit it. I'm going to say it like this. If y'all have a topic that y'all want us to talk about here at the Man Cave, just go ahead and slide and just go ahead and slide me a title. Slide it before a Thursday, mainly like a Tuesday. And then I can get with Uncle Jay and then we can talk about it, plan it out. And then we come and wreck shop with y'all. But EJ said, not in depression, Uncle Jay. I'm at a stage of discipline. Wow. Okay. I like that. I'm happy for that. I'm happy for that, man. You know, I just wanted to make sure, man, that they don't want this good because to lose a loved one, it, 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 it's tough. It's really tough. And I'm, I'm sorry that he didn't want to do that. And I'm glad he's where he said he's going to be and we did that. And I wish him all the best. Right. Loving the King of R&B said, well, it means not trying to change the way we live our lives for other people. It means allowing ourselves to be truly seen for who we are. It means letting go of feeling that we have to be someone. Okay. And then it and then and then Loving the King of R&B added that we're not trying to be someone that we're not or trying to speak or act in a way that doesn't feel aligned for us. Okay. You get it. I got it. Yeah. N Nikki M said she needs to work through her demons. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about the cyber. Okay. If, if we know, right? So she knows she got some situations, she got some issues. The best part about what she said was the working. No, no, Nikki, I'm talking about the cyber person. Oh, okay, got you. <laughs> she needs to work with that demon. Right, the cyber person. Got you, okay. Fantasia said, you have to love yourself first, so that way you will know how to love properly and know when to walk away before both parties get hurt. That's true. I, hold up, hold up. I mentioned before, nobody asked. Remember, someone else said you got to love yourself first. And I was asking, how did you do that? That's the part. I mean, somebody answered, but I definitely, I, I missed that. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, how, how do you love yourself? Ann Huff said, that's right, Dana. But yet, I still believe you have to put yourself in position to meet him when he's looking. Okay. Finny, oh, Lord. Phoenix Rogers said, okay, to be fair, ask him what or why does the, the person feel the need to respond to a cyber so-called relationship? <laughs> Phoenix Rises said, okay, to be fair, ask him what or why does the person feel the need to respond to a cyber so-called relationship? Uh, some people are miserable. Some people are in any form of relationship. This COVID has crippled a country. Any, uh, you know, you're looking at some, you're probably dealing with somebody who don't want this. They love this. That's all. Right. Are, you, are you breaking up, huh? Okay, all right. I'm back for I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we can hear you, dog. <laughs> I, I was just saying that so the cyber person probably don't want to deal with a physical relationship. There's some issues about the kids that could be possible to do. The army is taking place. Right. So this here, we're doing the cyber, that's satisfying enough. COVID has crippled the country, I'm telling you. Right. People are doing whatever to 
to be successful ever do you choose to buy it? Where's the problem mode right now? They're in everything. Yeah. Nikki M said, we as people have to allow ourselves to be vulnerable at certain times, not to be taken advantage of. Right. L listen, not to be taken advantage of, though, but to allow ourselves to learn or be exposed to tools to allow us to grow as individuals. I can get that because, I mean, how are you to know what's right if you're not ever taking the ball? I understand. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, loving the king of R and B said, "Too bad we couldn't have had him last night. It was a lot of craziness in the atmosphere." <laughs> uh, <okay>. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? A lot of craziness, bro. Okay. Well. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. A particular person that we both know, 2.0. A particular person that you and I both know, 2.0. That type of craziness. You gotta give it to me straight. All that. All right. Read it as a positive. Jersey walls. All right. Tay Tay to the second dimension. I think he's still speaking in more. I'm. It's what it is. It was that craziness. Oh, okay. But it, but but it was to a whole nother level, like to the point where, and you know how I am about my kids, right? So 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 the cyber female docks me, and took a picture of Journey, and sent it to a pedophile, and the dude was like, "Oh yeah, I'm a fucking her ass," and all this, like, bro, I will kill you, bro. Uh, why is it? Why is it? How do you entertain some goofiness like? I don't, and I won't, and I can't. Right. Unwanted anxiety, man. You think he's gonna set that to you in your face? Hell no. And it'll work. You think I want to came out of the apartment? Come on, man. I'm not wasting my time with this stuff. Right. But I tell y'all before. Think about the go for man. You're in the car and you let somebody over. And then the person don't even say thank you, and you mad at them. Why are you mad at them? Then you should have fucking let them over. Right. Come on, think, people. You want you to gym to work out, lady. Then you want you to gym to work out to get stronger. They want to get their bodies right. We got to get stronger mentally. Get your brain stronger. Stop allowing these fake, phony, faggy, cops, and that. Oh, man, don't try to get down my time. <laughs> nah, I don't play them type of game. Right, nah. You're right, I shouldn't have. I wouldn't have been in there. Right. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's deal with you. Fantasia said, you have to put yourself first and always give yourself the best things. Give yourself the love that you want for someone else before someone else gives it to you. So this is the part about how do you do it? How, how do you love yourself? Okay. I just want to, I mean, I, I got it. I, oh. Yeah, after other people. That's all. I, want to, I hope she didn't get offended by that. I just try to get an understanding exactly what that is. Now, this is somebody new. You just give me your description. Right. But it's somebody new. Okay. I mean, however, it still remains the same. Um, I just wanted to know what it means. Right. And Fantasia said, you will know what kind of love is really is real, and what and what love is fake, because you loved yourself first before you well, gave it to someone or they gave it to you. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me, let me deal with that. Now, granted, I stressed almost all my relationships because. 
I would say yes, I was a direct individual soul. That would make them move to so many different things. But when I calm down and I've been in a good place and I'm no longer that person I used to be, and then being in a relationship and you have to tell somebody that I look crazy in love with them. And they said they're crazy in love with me. How am I wrong? It doesn't make sense. I'm no longer feeling that. When you know when someone tells you that they love you and you feel it, it feels great. But if now they tell you that they love you, then it's emptiness. Right. Um, you can email me a text. It ain't going to make sense to me. Loving the King of R&B said, you have to have self-worth. It's defined as having a sense of your own inherent value as a human being. When you have a healthy sense of self-worth, you don't feel the urge to measure your value based on things outside of yourself, such as your job, what other people think of you, or yes, your relationship status. Wow. That's deep. Okay. Phoenix Rising said two people have to want to be vulnerable with each other in order for trust to be birth. Then well, we know that's gonna be bad, so. right. Then you feel the electrical current that's confirmation between each other. I think that's what Unc was just talking about when he said that mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you tell somebody that you love them and then they tell you back and then you feel it. Yeah. I mean... But if that foundation has been put in place, trust me. Oh, man. You got that from the both worlds. I just think nowadays a lot of people getting in relationships for wrong reasons. One... And for beneficial, too. And but I heard somebody tell me this earlier today. But it was like, oh, and my boyfriend ain't shit, but I'm with him because the sex good. But what That's happens when the you. sex run out? But I said, but what happens when the sex run out? And the person just looked at me like, huh? Yeah. But you're dealing with a person that no matter what type of pain, what type of suffering, they're willing to accept anything because they're texting That's a dangerous person. Right. That's dangerous. Let me ask you this, though. But let's get off the sex topic. Because, you know, we can go on and on and for days. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I think I'm the junior in the sex doctor room. So, and we can go on and on for days. But, I, but let me ask you this. What if you had friends, right? And they swore that they, 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 they were your friends. But y'all had a disagreement. Y'all separated. And they went to team up with your enemies. What do you call that? Because it's not a frenemy. It's beyond that. It's really not beyond that. It is. And once again, what is that that sheep and wolf holding? No. The same way, they're not just talking about that relationship. They ship, ship, still come. Friendship, relationship. It's still the same. Ask my man, you try to know that shit, man. Why is he your man? What, what, what did he do that constitutes him being your man? Right. Right? Other than a conversation. Because if he was your man, or your best friend, or whatever it is that you call him, he wouldn't have did what he did. Facts. He was never that guy because you didn't have that foundation for him. If you had that foundation for him, you would have understood. You would have seen. You would have made sense of all the goofy shit that he was already presenting to you before it came to you. Come on, man. Facts. Same idiots that came in the courtroom and called it that. I thought they was my guys. I thought they was my man. I thought they was my homies. 
I'm talking to y'all because I had experience on this type of shit. Facts. These men gonna come to you like they men, but they grown boys. These women gonna come to you like they grown women, but they young girls. Stop playing ourselves, man. Facts. You better check your mental illness. You better recognize it and get the tools that you need in order for you to be healthy and be successful and move forward and have a prosperous life. I'm telling you, I feel great. I feel awesome. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting strong. And I'm telling you, man, what's wrong with I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> Ann said, Ann said, I think they weren't your friend. And it was a matter of time before they showed their true colors. Because at the foundation, you can't get away from it. You just can't get away from it. If you listen, when you get a home girl, this is for the lady. What makes a young girl? You went out a couple of times, had a drink or two, got y'all, get what? What makes her your home girl? What makes her quote unquote your best? What, what, what is it that she it, it constitutes for her to have that title? Mm. We, don't, we don't put this stuff where it belongs, but let's face it, let's deal with it right now. Why do people deserve these titles that we're giving them and then when they hurt us, we upset? What the hell are you upset for? You have no foundation. You got what you deserve. Stop cutting yourself your relationship. Foundation relationship. And I'm not saying don't get it twisted that every now and then you may get a third. But how you have a better relationship if you have a foundation first. Because the foundation, this is a person that I know in and out. You can't tell me no lie. I'm not going to have your goddamn story. But you look stupid. I know that you just talk. Or if you're a person that's really genuine, I know that when you say it, it makes sense to me. I'm telling you. Foundation is everything in a relationship. Phoenix Rise. People talk about they got marriage counselors, right? Uh huh. Hold on, let me. I got the book. This is a whole book. Oh, oh, oh. Jump off the damn mountain. mountain. <laughs> Listen, there's so many people that say <laughs> they so happily married. They man, they man, they man, they man, they man, and you can go right to that woman. What's your husband's favorite color? Or oh, ask the man, what's your wife's favorite meal? And they like, uh, 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 uh. And hey, man, you go with that. You got your answer. Phoenix no Rising. foundation. Right. Phoenix Rising said, Dana, here's the thing. Friendship on both sides grows over a period of time. You can't come into a new friendship expecting street camaraderie because it is really co-worker mentality. Damn. I want to deal with this. That's deep. Give me that again. Phoenix it's Rising again. said, Dana, here's the thing. Friendship on both sides grows over a period of time. You can't come into a new friendship expecting street camaraderie because it is really co-worker mentality. Can you get her calling? Hey, Phoenix Rising, can you call in? That's deep. Ooh. Friendship on both I wanna, sides. I, I just, just want to make sure I receive it right and I need to elaborate so we can see how we can build. Hey, Phoenix Rising, can you call me? She said, Dana, here's the thing. Friendship on both sides grows over a period of time. You you can't come into a new friendship expecting street camaraderie 
because it is really that's why I'm confusing. I'm not the both sides and there's a street from Rob like I'm trying to I need to make sense of this. Basically like the cold in the street like yo blood in blood out like like, like, yo, if I fuck with you, it is what it is. That's what she said. Yeah, so it's never the friendship. Right. I don't get that part. Right. <laughs> so basically, and what she's saying, you can't come, you can't come into a new friendship expecting to be the top friendship level because it is really coworking. Well, why would you though? That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to get to. Why, why would you come into a relationship like that? Right. I'm talking about the friendship part, though. Why would you want to come into it like that? Right. EJ said he had that happen. Uh, Say it again? EJ said he had that happen to him when he got threatened. Wow. Well, just bring it all the way back to me. What happened to him? I don't know. He just said, oh, EJ uh, said that. I I don't I think EJ is saying that he had a friendship go south on him when he got threatened. When he got, got threatened? threatened? Yeah. See, that's, I, I'm I'm not sure. That's weird for me. That's weird. But yeah, well, I don't think that. I think he just need to elaborate a little more. Uh, Loving the King of R and B said, "Friendships are unique. Relationships, friendships are unique. Relationships, okay. Friendships are unique relationships because unlike family relationships, we choose to enter into them, and unlike other voluntary bonds." Such as marriages and romantic relationships, they lack they lack a formal structure. Okay, I get it. Um, I did think a lot of friendships, relationships, marriage, life lack a lot of. Um, Period. I agree. Maybe we can get young to elaborate on what he said. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to respond. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm waiting for him to respond. I mean, these are these are conversations that are needed to be had, and and a lot of people are scared to have these conversations. I don't know why, but hey, they don't want to be honest. That's why. But it's nothing like honesty, though. Well, it, it, it really is. Because, see, when you start talking about having that part, now you're unfolding. Now you're exposed. That's the part that people are very much being exposed. That's the problem. Okay. I mean, sometimes exposure is good, though. Yeah, we know that. But are you ready to receive it? That part. We're talking about people's character. When we're talking about their personality. Nobody that is not mentally stable or just going through so much, they're not ready for this. Because exposure for people that are not sound-minded, as, you know, uh, mentally stable, that's when the crack is. Mm. It's going to put them somewhere that they don't want to be, or somewhere where they already were, and now they're in a good place, it's going to put them back in that place. Right. And, uh, Ann
Ann Huff said, hold on. Ann Huff said, you have to come into the relationship with mutual respect, honesty, values, and compromise. And compromise. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, listen. If people, people can really do that, you're yeah, absolutely right, sister. That, that would be great. great. But the reality is that is not receiving that. People come in a beginning of a relationship with just enough to show you what they want you to see. That's fact. They show you what they want you to see. And once you hope you sick, You'll find out that thing in the later. Right. Two, three, four, five, and then for 20, 30 years. You got women who've been married 40 years and they know who the hell that is laying next to them. That wow. is insane. Wow. There's I know I'm not the first person that ever said that. There's no way I'm going to be married 20, 30 years and don't know who's laying next to me. And listen to me. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I'm just saying what I'm not going to do. Well, you can't say if a person is being cheaper. That's the whole point. If you don't have the foundation, if you, this, the foundation of exposure that should be before you can even go into the relationship. That's why I keep talking about the foundation. So if you had that, you would have already engine out the goodness. Up to the dance, you would figure everything out before it gets to that level. Right. That's why foundation makes sense for me. Right. I have to have a friendship with a young lady. If you talk about relationship, because what I got to suffer, I suffer from depression. I suffer from bipolar. Now, I don't want to actually have, have these underlying issues and try to date her. And three weeks later, she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. You right. How many online right now actually dealt with? See what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> he ain't being honest. You in this relationship like something ain't right with him. <laughs> something ain't right. It's real shit. That part. Mm-hmm. All right, um, we are two hours and 30 minutes in. Hey man, listen, it's good. It's coming straight from the <laughs> Look, we'll be back next Thursday. Y'all shoot us some titles. We gonna talk about it, cause, okay. cause uh, I, I I got a lot of stuff to talk about. But hey, we want to hear from y'all. We want to impartake and outpour to y'all, cause we both been through a lot. From yeah. from, everybody, everybody. from group homes to mm -hmm. homelessness, the pen, homelessness, the penal system, everything. Yeah, Pain, so, so. that's the main part. Yeah, I mean, I want to add to I, I, I said last time. Please, by no means, understand that I hope I didn't mentally do any type of. Anyone at any time while we were speaking, I had no, I'm only telling my life, right. my personal issues, my thought process. I can be blessed with a lot of issues that I have no real time to intentionally, I don't mean just intentionally do any harm to you, but put you in a place to say, I don't want to get on the internet and sit, I don't want to hear nothing from you today. I apologize to make you feel that because that's not my Thank you for listening. I'm very appreciative of being in the house with And thank you guys for listening. I hope they help you. And we thank you, Uncle, and everybody's saying great live. Thank you, Dana and Uncle Jay. You're welcome. I just wish Uncle was in a better place to have some good Wi Fi. <laughs> that's all I wish. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Where I was at is where I go every single day for well, peace of mind. I park my car and park next to the water to see the tranquility. I can put myself in a place because I'm in hell. So that's my trick. So my apologies. I sound like a robot here and there. 
<laughs> but, but that's, that's when I was getting until, until then. then. You good, Dan? Yeah, we straight. We straight. <laughs> All right. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take us out. But uh, I gotta play my boy, and you know, cause you know everybody know I love DMX, but y'all know I got a new dude. That's that's not as rough sounding as DMX, but he talk about some street stuff, and uh, he go by the name of Moray, and 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 I ain't gonna front. This dude is off the chain. This one song is called Quicksand. Check it out. Back in the day, me and a nigga had big jeans Couldn't afford a new pair, I had broke shoes Couldn't think about the money, I had broke dreams Outfit was the match of the crack fiend I was trying to be fly, couldn't take them Coach selling on my ass, lost weight, dog No dragon in the wind, I had to shake, dog Then I said, fuck it, cause something girl had to shake, dog Then my nigga Bobby put me on a quick day Wasn't a lie, but I know for a quick six In the section, I was still got me a quick six In the small push, I won't get to the quick day Never could, I ain't gonna lie, I was tempted He was a talker, but he looked at me that I missed it I was always sucking love with a mystic My opportunity was knocking and I missed it Young man, I hopped off the street Two doors where I flew off, I hopped in the coop Two shows from the wall where I could lose Got scars and bruises when I got the proof You're single, you're still, cause I got the juice You think you're too broke, let all my ass loose Step in the left with my tumbling moves I'm planning, I'm stable, I'm going in rules Since it's just the time with a kiss time Thinking of a plan to get quick dance Falling in the deep with a quick sand Flag on my ass, no quick brand I was packing on the ground, got my brain up Hot beef from the streets, got the stage up Freddy Cracker showed me how to take a cake dip Doing that with everything I ever stepped up Since it's just good time with a kiss time Thinking of a plan like a quick dance Falling in the deep with a quick sand Flag on my ass, no quick brand I was packing on the ground, got my brain up Hot beef from the streets, got the stage up Freddy Cracker showed me how to take a cake dip Doing that with everything I ever stepped up Have a moment to let one of my little bitches to me Body full, body love, and cause look at sixes I never came through, he was always some bitch shit Then you know I was wrong, my hands so gifted Boy, let me tell how to get in the mix quick Couple knocks, then we got like a girl to be lifted Showed another nigga after I thought was some kiss shit Throwing up both of my sets was in the defense shit Can't be spent, make a neck, my nigga didn't back down I don't stand enough, then he ended the back down His hands in my life, now this end of the back now Flat like a hill, I see if you flat now Had enough, it was the one and after the one round KD on the bench, equipped with the tray down Made him run, it was funny, but scared of the gun sound Made him shit, he a bit by the car, he's a duck down I ain't got no time for you to face it's on each of our knees that I saw the chase My homie's the only who come past the gate I'm rocking the weeds, cutting the hands off the snakes I'm hungry, I'm eating right off of your plate I won't eat, I'm on it, it's my fault to take I'm stagnant, I'm magnet, I'm standing in place The reason I'm popping this all up for hate Since it takes the time with a kiss time Taking the plan to get quick dance Falling in the deep with a quick sand Flag on my ass, no quick brand I was packing on the ground, got my brain up Hot beef from the streets, I can stay up Freddy Cracker showed me how to take a cake dip Doing that with everything I ever stepped Man, the hottest song on the streets. The hottest song on the streets. Here. Yeah. I right, look. Um, thank y'all for joining. Y'all know what it is. Love every last one of y'all. Tonight's, I just got the text. Tonight's court debate is off. It will be tomorrow day. Tomorrow night. And Dabowski has something to do, so it will be tomorrow night. And no, Dabowski is not lobbed up, locked up. I said lobbed up. No, he is not locked up. Um, I don't know where the people got that from, but he texted me, told me everything good. Um, tomorrow will be a better day for him because he got some stuff to do. Uh, EJ, that's not, that's not what's going on, bro. I'll call you and talk to you. I call you and talk to you. Nah, you can't. I call and talk to you. 
So that's what's going on. Dana J love everybody. We about to get out of here. Y'all be blessed. But before I go, you don't have to be great to get started, but you got to get started to be great. Be someone important. Be yourself. You kill hate, negativity, and lies with truth, honesty, and nothing but truth. All right? Elephants don't swap flies. I holla at you tomorrow. Peace. Yeah.